Groupon, huh? These guys doing good? They doing well? We'll see. This is their well, first, this good their answer, first good earnings answer, report. Right? Yeah, this, yeah, this is their first, first earnings report. As a public yeah. company, and as is public earnings company. the key word here? I mean, <laughs> right, exactly. are they going to report earnings? We'll see. We'll see. Their last quarter, they had their, they were on the cusp of delivering delivering an operating profit because they just took took you know they took a big shears to, to marketing spend, um, and the problem there was it also slowed down growth. Yeah. Right. So the big question for these guys in this quarter really is can they maintain the growth and if they can people will if, if, if the growth kind of comes back I think people will give them a pass on the earnings um, if not and there aren't any there are any real profits to show for the business then you know look either way this stock what, whatever they say today stock's gonna move a big in a big way yeah, in one way or direction. Yeah. so this is a pretty you know analog discussion they they cut costs, they cut back on their marketing efforts, and you know, managed to come through with some profits, but it hits their growth. They, put, they push the pedal on growth, it's going to hurt them on the profit front. So, you know, is the choice quite that dramatic for them? Um, you know, I think as they're still, that's interesting. It's like as the, as the business matures, I mean, it's hard to say it's maturing. It's literally three years old, yeah. right? They've built a 10,000 person organization in 45 countries that's going to do $1.6 billion in revenue this year, roughly. They've done it all since Lehman Brothers collapsed. Yeah, right. right. Think Good about point. that for a second. Uh, um, now, but, but the thing is, as big as they've grown, they've got 150 million subscribers on that email list. One thing they don't disclose is churn. How, how often do people click on subscribe? Yeah. Because as people drop off, it becomes harder and harder to replace them, right? You can juice growth by throwing a lot of marketing dollars by getting more people out there who haven't heard about Groupon. A year ago, they were, had three Super Bowl commercials. Um, this year, uh, this I year didn't none. See them. The, the, the point I was being, usually going out to the point know, being, it becomes the harder. But... It becomes harder to react to, to find low-hanging fruit, right. for lack of a better word. Well, and does that sort of point up the? the highly competitive nature of the narrow market they've chosen for themselves, basically online it is It is very competitive. The one thing they say that I, be, I do agree with is, look, there aren't a lot of barriers to entry, but there are a lot of barriers to scale. It's very mm -hmm. hard to build an organization as large as they have. Um, and they, they, they say, look, that gives us the ability to offer new products that, that other people can't. They've got this instant deals thing called Groupon Now, which they really hope that would give you deals to your phone based on your location. Sounds great in theory, but it's not really clear it's taking off, yeah. right? So is scale actually benefiting them? We don't know yet. We'd love to, I mean, it, it would be great to hear details on that. Um, and the other problem is some of those new products, they come with lower margins. And speaking of lower margins and competition as you raise, Paul, yeah. Living Social, Actually, their financial numbers were outed in Amazon's annual filing. That was interesting. I saw that in your piece. Yeah. And the reason we're talking because you had the head of the tape piece today. Uh, it was interesting, huh? Amazon. Yeah, Amazon in their 10K, because Amazon holds a 31 per stake uh, in, in Living Social, gave you some just basic information about the revenue Living Social did. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking to a source familiar, you could work backwards. They did $245 million in revenue and $750 million of t gross billings. In other words, you give them 750 million in cash. Customers right. they they kept 245 they kept, right. million of it. 33 percent. Now, Groupon's share last quarter 37 well, percent. I want to quickly so look at the stock chart that. here ahead of the the earnings. Let's pull it up so you can see. You know, it's yeah, really a couple nothing, of listen, nothing's really moving today. My question is, uh, listen, this company has not been public that long, Ralph. How long will investors give it? I would think they'd give it more than just today. Yeah, I mean, I, don't I mean, know. if you're invested now, I don't know, give them a little while, right? Well, I would give it today, sure. I mean, you know, I. I, I can't think of, you know, will people overlook a really bad earnings right. earnings call if that's what you mean? I don't yeah, think so. Yeah. I mean, I think if if these guys show if growth slowed dramatically in the fourth quarter, I think the stock gets hit pretty hard. <laughs> Working in their favor though is the fact that there's not there's a kind of a limited float. It's it, it's definitely there's not there's not a lot of shares out there after the IPO. Um, also, there's a very high short interest out there now. What that's going to do is give a little boost to the stock because if yeah. there's anything you short of bad news, things, right. you could get, get a killed. short squeeze, right, right. and maybe you know they have a decent quarter and everybody decides because it's yeah. a, as far as I know, kind of an expensive short to maintain. A lot of guys may be in that trade, yeah. looking for right. this quarter to be bad. If it's maybe, not, could maybe, get buying pressure. Maybe those some guys coupon cover. deals. That's after something that. to look out for.